Hello and uh, welcome to the madness that is me playing Scrap Mechanic. I am uh, just uh, finishing off, I mean, the first trilogy of this series. And that is Advanced Flipper Code and Spinner Code. So the big thing that's happening right now is, one, we have a robot which currently its flipper isn't powered. But based on its shape, it really needs to have the flipper start at an angle. And we can't do that with the first flipper code that I demonstrated. That's where we have this much different, quite a bit more complicated version, which isn't too bad when you get into it. I also have another thing, which is a reversible spinner code, where you hit one button and the spinner turns one way, and then you hit a secondary button and it'll flip the direction of the spinner. So I'm going to show these off right now, starting with the flipper. First things first. Smart Engine Controller, because that's the only thing we ever use here. <sighs> ever. Need... Oh, there's one other thing I forgot. Number blocks. So, we need this. We need a number block. Uh, there. Actually, I'll, I'll put the number block there. Uh, we need a switch, of course. Put that there. A counter, actually one counter, right? Yeah, a counter there. And then two of these, what are these called? Memory panels. That's a, that's a bit to think about, but it's fine. First things first, this, the counter is going to be black. The number panel needs to be white. Uh, this switch needs to be, I believe, orange, or you could do it red, but I'll explain that maybe in a moment. <laughs> One of the keypads, sorry, memory panels needs to be white, and the other one needs to be orange or any color that isn't black, white, or gray. Now, the fun part is the switch needs to get plugged into the counter. The counter, sorry, not the counter, the number block, the, the number block needs to be hooked into the memory panels, both of them. Then the memory panels need to be hooked into the smart engine controller, and the uh, counter needs to be hooked into the smart engine controller. Now what these all are is the black counter is still your power. The white memory panel is your speed, and the orange memory panel is your um, position. Now, what's going to happen is if you, when you, this switch is going to be your your flipper switch. And what happens when you hit the flipper switch is that's the wrong button. Is that little thing is going to that little number block? I'm going to change from 0 to 1. When that changes, your memory panels will change from 0 to 1. Now, 0 doesn't mean nothing. 0 is still a bank of its own. So what you need to do is set your power with a tick button. And just like with the other flipper code, I'm going to set it to a ridiculously high number. So just this light green is normally what I use for anything really high. So use that. Then you're going to get this keypad input. This is very special. This is pretty much the only thing you're ever really going to need to use when working with uh, these memory panels. Also I'm going to hook up the um, smart engine controller before I forget. So first thing I'm going to change is I want to change the speed. So if you have it on bank zero and you change your speed, this is going to change your retract speed. So when you're going from open to close, this is what's going to change it. So I'm going to set the sign pretty low. I'll say 200 for the moment. 
and now that's open. I don't know why that's open now, but it is. Um, but that's now set to zero. Yeah, it's set to zero, I guess. Um, yeah, now set the position for bank zero to, let's say, negative 21. Oh, 21. Oh, cool, positive 21. If, if you want your downward to be negative, then you just flip this, but cool. So not quite 21, how about 23? 23 is almost there, uh, 25. No, 26.2. That's good, in, uh, no, 27. Okay, now that's touching the ground. 6.5 Cool good enough. So The thing to know about the keypad input is whenever you put something in it is not adding to its last value You got to like if you actually hit a bunch of buttons just hit the the X thing. It's fine But so if I put for 40 Yeah, that's screwed up But if I go straight back to 26 0.5 it doesn't add to the 40 it goes back to what it was so that's good so now that is set your your normal thing now if I go and change it to the other bank nothing's changed but that's because this other bank doesn't have the speed set to it so I'm gonna I'll say speed 500 we'll see if that works good and then position I'm going to have to do negative 50. That's a little much. Negative 40. Still a little bit. And 28. There, that's okay. So now, we have a functional flipper which starts at an angle. And I'll make sure to uh, put a version of this code uh, in the description for people to use just because that just makes life easier for everyone. And that is how you make a, or the easiest way that I know of, to make a flipper that starts at an angle and ends at a different angle. Okay, so now for the real fun is the reversible spinner code. So... Just like every single other code we use, boom, smart engine controller. And one counter. This counter is going to be black for power, as per usual. Have another number block. This will be white because white changes the bank on your memory panels. Uh, another keypad input. Not keypad input. Memory panel. I get too confused because you use the keypad input to change the memory panels, but they're not the same. It's a memory panel. Yeesh. This one is going to be white for speed. Uh, we don't need positioning because it's a spinner. And then we are going to have the... What's my columns? The switch. Now this time I'll make the switch red. And I'll show you what that does because the last time the switch was orange. The switch goes into the number block. Number block to the memory panel, memory panel to the smart engine controller, and the counter to the smart engine controller, and then the counter to your spinner. And then have that spin whatever way is correct. All of ours really spin backwards. So, if I use this, you'll see that when I hit, it's on bank zero. When I hit the thing, it goes to bank one. If I have it red, it's bank zero goes to bank two because I guess it uses binary to do those correctly so I think um what other colors yeah so four eight and then I think they just get too big for it to handle or it still handles it but it gets too big to display on a single number thingy so that's that's what that is um, so if you're only having one button, it really doesn't matter what you paint it, but yeah. So 
we're doing something a little bit different now. So with the keypad input, like we have before, going into the memory panel, because we're doing speed, we're going to set the speed as we normally do. We set it to ridiculous amounts. I accidentally pushed my mouse into the wall, so I put a hole in the floor. So for the speed, I will normally do nine 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 nine. It really doesn't matter. You just hit the nine a bunch of times because eight nines and twelve nines will do about the same thing. So that speed is now set. Now hit the button, and now we're on bank two. You have negative nine 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 nine. Cool. Now I also forgot because I'm dumb. You still need uh, your on and off switch for your spinner. So you do need two switches. One of them painted for the number panel, and the other one, which doesn't matter for your actual spinner motor. Um. Yeah. That is that is that. So we currently have our forward and reverse switch. And now to actually make the darn thing spin, we need to add power to our counter. So now, if I'm not mistaken, I hook. I'm going to unhook this because I don't need this anymore. Hook that to that and that to this. When I hit three, it spins. When I hit four, well, it reverses the spin, uh, and it makes the robot very unhappy. So, spinning regular. I hit four. Four does nothing until you hit your on and off switch again. So this will spin it backwards. This will spin it forwards. And that is how you make your reversible spinner codes. Now, going into axes and crushers, or hammers and crushers, they basically use the same code as this does, but with different speeds. So I... Uh, axe or hammer it'll normally have more rotation but more rotation a little less speed and then you put the hammer explodies on it a crusher has less rotation and less speed but has a crusher exploding on it and a big thing about any of these smart engine contraptions you cannot rotate them more than 180 degrees because if you rotate it more it'll take the path of less movement so if you try and have it start out here and then go off, this frame can't handle it but if you try and make it go like 200 degrees it'll try and go underneath because then it would only be like a 160 degree uh pass that way and it just doesn't work so that is kind of the i think that's all of the shenanigans for these if i missed anything i'm sure that Ellie will let me know, but it's fine. So that is how to do spinners and flippers, the more complex way. Um, and yeah, there you go. I like turtles.